Okay, welcome everybody. It's 9.15. This is Matt Swift. Uh, this is Swift Art Live, giving this a test run. I hope I'm live, and if you're tuning in, uh, right now you're seeing a kind of intro video that uh, is from a show from this past summer that I did, uh, Front Door and Interactive Art Installation. Um, this is up on the screen because... Uh, the big thing I'm going to be talking about tonight uh, and for the next several shows is going to be my new uh, kind of abstract expressionist performance painting, uh, specifically using uh, my friend uh, here, uh, the uh, robot vacuum cleaner. So... All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and test some other things out here. We're also, this is a pilot for the show. We're testing out a single camera operator, which is me, uh, along with a multi-cam setup. Um, so let's see uh, how this goes. All right. Cool. All right, so you should be able to see me now, hopefully. I hope I'm live and everybody can see me. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I've got multiple things running here and uh, not really sure if I can see myself. Uh, my cell phone, of course, the one thing that should easily work is the thing that's not working well. So wouldn't you know it, the things that we carry in our pockets that do this kind of thing easily um, aren't working well. So uh, here I am sitting uh, in a kind of makeshift studio tonight uh, that uh, me and my partner, Mickey, have been working on for a while. We were doing our live shows previously, and uh, we've been slowly trying to get some stuff together uh, to get this space in shape. Um, because I have some art uh, shows coming up and some performances, uh, I wanted to try to get this show together. Uh, you see my canvas behind me. I'll talk about all that there. Um, I need to give a few shout outs to people um, specifically. So um, this show and every a lot of the stuff you're going to see tonight is made possible because of the Greater Columbus Arts Council's Artists uh, in the Community Resources Grants. Uh, me and my partner, we apply for those most every year. If you haven't heard of them yet, you should definitely check them out. Um, you can get up to $500 to help towards resources uh, to create art um, with some components that will then give back to a community or uh, demonstrate to a community a new kind of art form or a new type of uh, development for your own art growth. So uh, for this, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of camera movement here just to kind of show you. And we're still trying to put some stuff together here, but I just wanted to show you the main thing. Uh, that's going to be happening tonight is our multi-cam setup. So I've got kind of a little of a table here, right? And it's mainly this box. Um, there's a box here. Let me go ahead and switch cameras, right? And let me see, see how this works, right? Uh, I believe, hopefully, I'm on the right camera now. Uh, and you can see there's a table here with a switch. Um, you can see what's going on there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit at the laptop for a second and see uh, if I'm actually getting anywhere because my cell phone is not cooperating whatsoever. Awesome, cool. It looks like I am, in fact, doing something that is working. Awesome, cool. So, so this is the main box here. It lets me move between this laptop as well as another camera and the camera you're seeing me on. Uh, we got the camera here, and then in, uh, what we've done is we've created a rafter system here uh, for our own private studio. Let me uh, see if I can uh, move this camera around a little bit here. I gotta move the pan handle. I locked it down, right? Um, so we've got a series of rafters here, and there's a GoPro uh, above in the rafters attached and that's our other camera there's also a microphone and if i go here boom right it will eventually switch to that gopro view right i'm going to put this cam this one back down here 
uh, for a minute. All right, we'll switch that there in a second. We'll leave it there. Running. Cool. All right, sweet. So uh, I'm waiting right this minute just to make sure that uh, everything runs. Here's the camera up here. So I got to remember. All right, so I got another camera up high. Um, I've also got a monitor over here so I can see my views and also my test screen down here in the bottom. Uh, it looks like something's working, right? Uh, I'm still on this over here. Let's go to um, here and see what happens, right? And I think we're just going to switch between those two from now on. All right, let's see if that camera switches over. Boom, there we go. All right, wide angle GoPro in the ceiling. We've got you. All right, so we got a monitor here, everything. We got the art behind you. That'll be important here in a second. So, um, all right, what else is there to cover? Um, the big thing is, is that I'm doing a live performance show this weekend uh, that's put on by VSA Ohio. It's the Arts for All. Uh, that's happening at the Westerville Community Center. Um, part of that show, it will be uh, the uh, expression show, a high expression show put on uh, by VSA Ohio. Um, it's all art that has been uh, made by people with disabilities that are then uh, curated, and it's a traveling show that goes around Ohio. Uh, part of also that Arts for All event is a 90-minute art making competition and so me and a few other artists will have a live model and we'll be making some kind of art 90 minutes there'll be judges there'll be a prize uh, I think uh, there'll be some TV there as well um, and we're gonna be uh, you know making some art my plan is to do one of these right so I've done this before that first opening you saw that was with front door where I had the robot doing some stuff uh, in last September, I actually did a performance uh, at Jupiter Studio in Alliance, Ohio, uh, where I got in the arena and painted with the robot vacuum cleaner, which was my main agenda uh, for the whole time. It's kind of getting weird looking up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my nice little fade over. Boom, let's see how this mix works here, right? So now I got my camera over here. I can face to, uh, I'm very interested to see how the mix works when it comes through. There's like a good 20 second delay. So there you go. Uh, all right, um, they got to see the mix happen. So um, I did a live performance there where I was painting uh, with this robot vacuum cleaner. And the main thing around this is that for the longest time I had been, um, I started out as a painting and landscape uh, artist, like painting and drawing landscape and portraiture. I was actually at, in, uh, the arts program at Ohio State University. Uh, before I moved out of that, um, uh, due to a work-related injury uh, in the early 2000s, it made it very difficult for me to hold a brush and a pencil. And from that time, I've been able to explore various kinds of action painting, which was very difficult for me to learn because I was a straight-on, like, you know, uh, you know, a uh, realist, <laughs> uh, extreme photorealist almost is where I was heading. And I just happened to learn how to be creative with things that didn't take on a representation or form necessarily was very difficult. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but in this uh, setting here, you can see a few of my uh, works, uh, early, early works. I took uh, four or five years off of making art um, after the work-related injury and then returned to art as a therapy process uh, for myself. Uh, and so these action paintings are, they're meditational scrolls made uh, to music. Each one of them is a song. Uh, so the far one here is cake. Uh, friend is a four-letter word. Uh, this is actually Michael Jackson's Earth song. Um, so I have a few others as well. Um, eventually, these are going to be art for the room to decorate and create uh, once this wall is finished. Uh, have a sound barrier here so we have a little bit better sounding room. Um, so I was doing this and then um, I've done several other kinds of artworks, but eventually you know, I transitioned to mostly photo video, which is most what everybody knows me for is photo video at this point. 
Uh, I'm going to see what's going on with Facebook, see if there's anything. If I click into the video, right, um, what's it going to do? Right, cool, we got some people saying hey and whatnot. Uh, I think I want to see if I can like share it out. Um, share. Um, boom. All right, I'm going to do that. Um, I mostly do the photo video, but my own personal artwork has always involved some kind of therapy, some kind of recovery process uh, because uh, of that early work-related injury. And then um, now, um, I was trying to work on this idea of using this robot vacuum cleaner, uh, or robots to to make our, and specifically the robot vacuum cleaner because we're going to talk about some of the very specific things that it does. Uh, I do get the question of why a robot vacuum cleaner? And um, my answer to that is because every tool has its purpose. And this is a very specific tool that does something very specific for me that I need. Um, and uh, we'll get into the nitty gritty of that. Um, as I do a little bit more talking about it. So, um, all right. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and try, you know, have fun and kind of switch back because that's the fun of this thing, right? It's being able to uh, switch back to the other camera a little bit, right? Um, so the other part of this is I got a grant from the Greater Columbus Arts Council that I had mentioned to get this device to do the multi-cam setup from ex exploration of live video production because me and my partner, we do uh, video production. We're currently wrapping up a feature film. We have some documentaries coming down the pipe. Uh, we're gonna be busy. The next two weeks are extremely busy for us uh, with a lot of other things happening and we really wanted to explore the live video setup as well. Um, and so this was a way to do that. I also use this four channel HDMI splitter and uh, mixer uh, for live performances of stuff. We did a performance with the Fuse Factories Frequency Fridays using the same technology. So, um, all right, I think we're at a certain point here. Uh, I wanna just try to share some stuff out again uh, and see what's going on, right? share to a page uh, let me see here no don't want to do that and we're going to share uh, share in a group All right and we're going to do uh, our art and artist right. uh, everything's very slow because I've got all this stuff running I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it looks like this is happening, right? So, okay, so Facebook is happening. I think can shut that. I think that's what I'm going to do, right? Uh, I'm going to shut this here, shut this extra uh, Facebook, all right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, come back out here, right? And come to my feed. And then uh, here I am. Clicking, good. All right, so if you don't know, Facebook Live is very complicated. The way this whole thing's work, I'm actually streaming to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter all at the same time, plus multi-cam and a laptop, running all this stuff, right? And every Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, they all have different ways of doing it, and running all this on one laptop is very difficult. I'm staring at the wrong camera again, so boom, let's come this back, right? Cool, bring it back over here again to this camera. So uh, it's very difficult to do all this uh, with a single person. You probably need more than one person to do it, uh, to do it right. Um, basically, I've got HDMI coming out of like a Panasonic kind of Micro Four Thirds DSLR style camera. I got HDMI coming out of a GoPro Hero 4, uh, and then I got HDMI coming out of a laptop. Those are all going into a splitter, and I can change which thing we're going to see at that point. So. Um, okay, so there's a few things um, I brought up already. There's a show that I've done um, at uh, 
the Jupiter Studios. You can find that if you haven't seen the video of that of me painting previously in this style. Um, and so I think I don't want to make this show too long. Um, the big thing is is that I, I started trying to explore doing this kind of painting uh, to try to try to find another way and also uh, another way to explore some action painting uh, and performance. I grew up as a performer. Uh, when I was young, um, and the performance aspect is always really important to me. Um, and uh, in 2017, I had kind of a life-changing event that put me on a trajectory of uh, another need of recovery again. Uh, I don't want to go into that too much um, at this point, but the main thing is is that like I, I'm uh, for the last two years, I've been in a major process of recovery. Uh, and I and I'm still going through that currently and my artwork is an extension of that recovery and so this specific painting that you're gonna that uh, you will eventually see tonight I'm not gonna show um, spoiler I'm not actually gonna paint on video I'm gonna say that for the next episode and also for the event on Saturday when you see it eventually you're gonna see that uh, the majority of my performance is actually physical therapy routines uh, and certain kind of movements that I have to do pretty much every day if not several times a day uh, to be uh, functioning and go about and do the kind of things that people see me out there in the world doing uh, and so um, the robot vacuum cleaner is perfect for that because I you know, I can basically do my thing on the canvas, apply paint, and then the robot vacuum cleaner does its thing, which we can talk about really quickly. So, uh, what I'll do here maybe is, um, let's switch back to the other camera, right? Cool. So, uh, so you can see I'm going to stand up here, right? So, we've got our canvas here, and we got a few things. I have this stretcher here that I managed to acquire is it's basically fit to this arena this is an arena that I put together it's very simple it's uh, it was originally six by six so I have some paintings that are six by six this is four by six uh, with a little extra room uh, so this is just a hair smaller than what you see here on the ground um, a big part of it is that it can be just dis I can take it apart so each of these things come apart so it can be easily transported put back together canvas can be stretched on it and we can go um, with that also is there's a, a small notch in the canvas it's kind of hard to see down here uh, that holds the charging unit uh, for the camera right uh, for the uh, vacuum cleaner there's a power cord that runs to it the charging unit fits in a nice little spot in here and that way, uh, if it needed a charge, you could charge uh, the vacuum cleaner. And actually, if I let it run, and it's if I want to let it run to kind of brush on its own and dry the canvas, uh, it can eventually return to that uh, charging unit if it wants, if it runs out of power. Um, the big thing is, is uh, so this specific model, it's called Easy Home. It's actually a version that I got from um, Aldi's originally. But what it is, it's actually a rebranded Cobot, uh, Cobot um, Slimline. Um, I actually have two, two new models, hopefully arriving next week, because uh, I have done several paintings with what I call Art One at this point, uh, assistive, uh, uh, artistic robotic uh, tool art. Um, and uh, the most important thing about it is that um, it has some very specific uh, mark making things and also the process in which it's constructed is very easy. Um, it has a very simple uh, waste basket inside uh, where I have some cloth and stuff to absorb any excess paint that may get in it. Um, and then there's a filter. And so I haven't disassembled any of the vacuuming. So there is a little bit of pressure that happens. In there but it's very easy to clean uh, also then you have these brushes uh, the brushes do very easily kind of turn and come off so I can then take and clean them off as needed right this middle brush this whole compartment item pops up and comes off now the tires are a little bit different 
But the major things that happen is that these brushes all they both spin uh, in different in the opposite directions to brush things. So you got those mark making. You got this brush that turns this way that kind of uh, brushes on the canvas. So you got brushing here and here and here, and then you've also got the tires that are mark making as well. Um, so what I can do really quickly uh, to kind of demonstrate. Get a little power on for art, all right? And we'll go ahead and let art bounce around for a minute, right? This is awesome. I'm gonna get a little closer to this mic over here, maybe turn it up a little bit, right? So, um, I was explaining that the vacuum cleaner has a very specific kind of thing that it does, and it's it's object avoiding and randomized object avoiding. So you can see as it bounces into a side rail, it tries to decide which way to go, right? And you can see, there we go. It kind of got stuck in a corner, right? And as it got stuck in a corner, you can see that um, it was like, okay, I'll turn left, I'll turn right, I'll turn left, I'll turn right. It does it a few times, and then part of the programming kicks in and goes, oh, oh, okay, I'm stuck. And then it tries to get out of the corner, right? And it's going to do it again, right? So tonight's a corner night. It kind of randomly starts the programming at a certain point. Sometimes it'll start where it gets stuck in corners and edges a lot. Sometimes it starts and it likes to stay in the center a lot. Um, there are a few different programs that run. There's actually one where it kind of comes out in the middle of nowhere and decides to turn in a circle, and it'll just keep going in bigger and bigger circles uh, until it runs into something. Uh, that's very nice. Um, you can kind of control it yourself. Right now, it's just kind of running on its own, which is kind of awesome, right? Just getting kind of warmed up. You can see the little brushes like spinning out here that are the nice mark making underneath um, that happens. There's also a wheel in the front, a guide wheel, and that is a little bit of a mark making um, within the paint as well. So what I can show you here is that I got a few different ways of, of working with this. So basically if I step in here, I can become something it needs to avoid as well, right? Um, and that, you see it completely changed direction, but sometimes, right, it can't get all the way around me and it bounces off a few times. There's that aspect, right? Um, I could actually, you know, kind of tap it. If I feel like I really want it to go in a certain direction and avoid a certain area for some reason. So it's really is a whole body kind of experience where like I can really get in here, I can stand and do poses. Um, I can also kind of sit, right? I typically start each painting with kind of a sit pose. So I'm sitting here trying to get into my zone and then I hit start and the, the vacuum cleaner then takes off and starts painting at that point. So uh, I just like watching it. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. So, other things. Um, I spent several months, over a year actually, formulating the uh, substrate. So, uh, you know, I've done paper, I've done a few other things. This is Prime's canvas, seems to work the best. I also have carpet pads underneath uh, carpet squares so that's transportable. I can easily take them somewhere, set them up, strap canvas to the boards, boom, do a painting wherever I want to be at any time, right? Uh, the other thing is um, paint. I've uh, explored watercolor, I explored um, acrylics. I stayed away from oil. Um, oil is something that's too messy, it's harder to clean. Also, um, if you use any, I've explored even using some different additives to the paints. The additives gunk up the machine too much. What I have found works better. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Totally stuck. It's trying to drive over my foot. This is awesome. This happens all the time. Okay, I feel you, Art. All right, come on, back up. Uh, you see, I kind of have a little bit of relationship with this thing like it's an animal. 
I have, so I'll do an hour and a half painting, two hour, three hour painting with this thing. It then takes me like a good 40 minutes to clean it. Like, it, there's a relationship. You're like pulling it apart, pulling all the brushes, gently washing it with a, just a moist rag. You don't want to get too much water in it to mess up the components so it's still usable. Like, th there's a relationship there of taking care of this item. So, um, back to paint. What I found is, um, you know, uh, tempera is the best is the best thing because it's easy to clean off right it works very well uh, for a lot of things so um, that's great I also my application method is uh, I have these nice little squeeze bottles so um, these ones didn't come with caps so I've got kind of tape caps on them for the ones I'm going to use tonight but um, you know it's really easy to uh, apply some you know put your finger on them give them a good shake, you know, and then you can apply some paint to the canvas, right? Um, tonight, I gotta do a painting. I need to do a quick trial run, make sure everything works, uh, figure out the space, because this is a new size for Saturday. It's another reason I wanted to go live and kind of launch this pilot show. Uh, I think what I wanna do, right, you won't be able to see me as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and come here, switch to the camera, right, and you can see then I can get down here, right, maybe sit in this chair for a minute. You can still hear me pretty well. All right. Ah. Ah, sit down for a second. All right. So um, I got to do practice uh, for the painting. Um, I also received a grant uh, to, for a show. I have a solo show in July with the Fresh Air Gallery um, where I'll, be ha I'll have video that some of my pieces that I've been making. I will also have paintings from this process. I plan to have a series of four by four paintings from this process. So this rig is eventually gonna get cut down to four by four to create several paintings. Um, one thing that uh, I do also, it's, uh, it gets messy. I roll around on the canvas here uh, with this thing. And so um, I have a painter suit, right? So, um, for Saturday, I'll have a fresh painter suit. This is going to be the painter suit for my show. Uh, basically, I'm going to create 12 paintings, and I'm basically going to just put this suit on. Every, like, just keep reusing it, so that basically I have a piece that is this painter suit that encompasses, like, this journey that I'm on the, to create uh, these paintings. Um, I do have a painter suit from one of my other pieces. I can snag really quick. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I, I want to. I guess I'll just show you what that kind of looks like. Enjoy uh, watching art kind of move around for a second. I think what I'm going to do. Um, I'm wearing a very specific shirt. So this is my underdog shirt uh, that I'm wearing, and uh, it's because the. This Saturday, I'm doing a live model painting. Uh, I don't typically, I usually inspire by music, not by images, but tonight I need to practice being inspired by image. And the image I'm doing is me actually laying on uh, my scooter uh, that when I bought it in 2008, and I was actually wearing this shirt, my underdog shirt. That's how old this shirt is. I've had it since before 2008. It's over 10 years old. Um, and. Uh, there's this picture of me sprawled out on my scooter in the backyard with the grass with this shirt on and um, a big part of this is uh, related to that scooter um, in a way and so I thought that I like to connect emotionally with the subject of matter so the music I pick or an image I pick I want there to have a really strong emotional connection to because that strong emotional connection is what drives my movements, my interactions, and the kind of inspiration that happens. And so I thought I'll wear this shirt underneath of my painter suit uh, while I do the painting. And what I'll do, it's gonna be mostly blue and green. I know there's gonna be some green. So what we'll do is give you something enjoyable to start with at least, is uh, so you can see how things work, is let's give you some green. Great. Let's see. Uh, let's give you some green and get art 
kind of work in and move in, right? Uh, I really don't want to be bending over there in that frame, so I'm going to move back to the other one, right? And I remember the picture, and I'll pull it up on my laptop here. So, um, let's see, picture here. Okay, what I can do is actually show you really quickly that, um, right, so here's the picture uh, that I'm going to be used to inspire me. That's me back in 2008 with my scooter. Um, so uh, that's what I'm going to be starting with. This is inspiration. Who knows where it will go from there. Uh, I'll come back over here now. And uh, let's uh, got some green. How about... Yeah. Um, let's start with some blue instead. I think blue is going to be better to start with. All right. I'm going to make sure everything is still functioning over here on this end. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, good. Hopefully, I didn't flash anybody there. Uh, okay, cool. All right, I'm going to be looking at that like this. All right. So, my legs are blue, right? And they're going to be coming down and something like this. And boom, paint. Paint. Okay, very gestural. There you go. You can enjoy art making a few marks for a second. I'm gonna go grab that painter suit. And I'm probably gonna turn, go ahead and put this painter suit on real quick. Enjoy, be right back. All right, there you go. You can see art starting to spread all that around. I've got my painter suit on, right? So my last painting at Jupiter Studio, right? So this is the end result. Um, you can see, like, you, know, you get some paint on the front. You end up getting paint all over the back, right, uh, from one of my paintings. So that will be the end result. It gets rather messy. So... Um, I think that's a good encapsulation. Basically, my plan uh, is to uh, really, you know, basically go live every so often. I don't know if there will be a planned schedule or what, but I have to paint several paintings. And because this is a performance piece, the performance has to be part of it. This, you know, I can perform by myself, but what's you know, that's fine, I'm just performing for one. I want to, you know, I'm performing for everybody is the piece here. And so for the rest of the paintings besides tonight, um, I'm going to go live and actually do the paintings broadcast out there live to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube all at the same time. So um, if you don't know about the Arts for All event that's happening this Saturday, then you should definitely... Uh, check that out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Art a pause so I can... Art makes a lot of noise. Give Art some pause there, right? And uh, uh, maybe if I step forward just a little bit, you can see me better, right? 
Uh, if you don't know about the Arts for All event, the site of Westerville, and you're interested in seeing uh, this exhibition, uh, go to VSAO, VSAO.org and check out. You can RSVP there if you haven't already. You can check out VSA Ohio's Facebook um, and uh, check out those events. Um, I basically say, like, you know, if you're an artist and uh, you have um, a disability of any kind, uh, the people there at VS Ohio uh, are great to work with. Uh, they're wonderful people um, who have uh, supported me at this point and, uh, and been able to really support a lot of the endeavors in Columbus. Uh, and so definitely check them out and support them. Uh, if you have the, the time and energy to be able to donate to a cause like that, please do that as well. Um, so uh, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I just wanted to try this out. You know, we're doing some... This is pretty awesome to be able to uh, do this whole live stream thing and the multi-cam universe kind of thing. I mean, what I can do is I can actually like bring this up and uh, come over here, right? I can kind of show you real quickly. There's a there's like a dashboard that I'm using to run everything. It's called a live shell. It actually is a box that runs everything. Um, I've got a broadcast I'm monitoring through Twitter um, that you can see as well, right? Um, you know, I even got a web page open where I could go look some stuff up. So, like, I could come here and go swiftart.wordpress, right? So you can come. You can actually see more about my art um, if you want. Um, you can check some stuff out. If you come in here to the news section, that's my blog. Um, in the blog section there, you can actually see about some pieces we've done recently. And then here you go. Here's my painting from Jupiter Studio. Um, you can look at that. So the, the painting uh, that I just had up there, right? There's the painting. And look, there's the painter suit and everything. You can check that out if you want. Um, then we can actually come over here and do, uh, you know, VSAO. Boom. Show you what's going on there. Right? They've got a lot of stuff happening. Um, they got their programs. Uh, Accessible Expressions Ohio. Right? That's what's happening. There's the 90 minute art making challenge. Uh, you can learn about uh, the 11th annual Day of Arts for All. Different kinds of things that are happening there. Click here to RSVP. It's happening at the Westerville Community Center. Right? That's, uh, you can check all that stuff out. So, uh, really quickly, uh, I'm going to switch back to, let's see here. Sit down for a second. We'll switch back to uh, camera two. Right. And uh, camera two, I'm just kind of out of the frame a little bit. Move over. Uh, thank you, anybody who tuned in tonight. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to Facebook real quick, see what's going on. It looks like Danny, uh, <laughs> Danny Bean, there's no fear, underdog is here, that's awesome. So, uh, people who got to see this, I hope um, you dig it, and uh, I would just tell people, you know, find a way to make some cool art. This is fun. It, it's, it feels so good to make this kind of art. I've got a lot of thought into this. Uh, process which you'll probably hear more about uh, the rest of the shows may not have as much as me talking that's gonna be a hard thing to think about right uh, if you know me I got a lot to say you can see I just put on like an hour I didn't even script this an hour of talking at you at a camera right so uh, you know <laughs> it's not that hard for me to talk the rest of them I don't think will have as much talking it will have mostly painting uh, hopefully, maybe I'll have an assistant that can help me run some chat if people have questions. So, wish me luck. Uh, I got like a good, you know, 60 minutes of painting to do. And then uh, I'll try to throw up a picture afterwards to see how it comes out. So, thanks a lot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring come back over here and uh, like uh, bring up uh, that video again. Right? And we come, come here. Boop. And we'll go out on um, 
you know, camera three, with that looping video of art of moving over top of that there. So uh, thanks again, everybody, uh, for tuning in. And, um, you know, if you can make it out this Saturday, we'll see you. If not, tune in next time. Follow me uh, online. Uh, Twitter is uh, Matt Swift Art. Um, you can find me on Facebook as well. And, uh, you know, have a good evening.